He's been a conviction, strong, authentic conservative my entire public life. He was someone who uh, ran as a Democrat when it was popular to be a Democrat in the state, and then as he became a Republican when it was popular to be a Republican. Uh, as someone who was uh, a moderate to liberal when I, when I ran in a tough blue state, and then when he decided to run for president, run as a conservative. Uh, that's what the two leaders of the uh, that, that focus most of the attention on tonight are two folks who uh, yeah. who have a, uh, uh, a very different past than I do. I was able, I stood for the conservative cause in a tough blue state and was able to get things done in Washington, D.C. when they weren't uh, as popular as they are now and I wasn't running for national office. And if you want someone who's going to stick to their convictions and get things done, I think you saw someone out there who, uh, who stands by their conviction and, uh, and, and will do so and be able to get votes. Why? I mean, look at the welfare question. I mean, the, uh, the question I was asked on the floor. Uh, I was someone who, for 12 years, there wasn't a single bill that passed the United States Senate that dealt with the poor in America that I wasn't involved in. I'm talking about poor in this country and in many countries around the world. Uh, but they were conservative solutions to the problem. They, they were things that changed existing programs to make them work in a way that got government out and, and empowered, you know, faith-based groups, community groups, local and state governments. That's the kind of leader you need who can, who can take on these very tough issues, get bipartisan support and get it done. And, and that's what, you know, one of the opportunities I had to speak. That's what I talked about.